Before we begin this trial, I want to make one thing very clear. The law does not recognize the existence of ghosts, and I don't believe in them either. I don't want to hear a lot of malarkey about goblins and spooks and demons. We're going to stick to the facts in this case. Leave the ghost stories to the kiddies, understood? Wow. Sounds like a pretty open-minded guy, huh? Yeah, they call him the hammer. What can we do? It's all in the hands of our lawyer now. I think you guys are making a big mistake. I do mostly tax law and some probate stuff occasionally. I got my law degree at night school. Well, that's fine, Lewis. We got arrested at night. Look, just put these guys away fast and make sure they go away for a long, long time, okay? I don't think it's going to be hard with this list of charges. Good. Very good. Violating a judicial restraining order, willful destruction of public property, fraud, malicious mischief. <laughs> See, in a couple of years, at your first parole hearing. <laughs> They'll never take us alive. All right, all right, let's get on with it. Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen of the, of the, of the audience, I don't think it's fair to call my clients frauds. OK, so the blackout was a big problem for everybody, OK? I was stuck in an elevator for two hours, and I had to make the whole time. But I don't blame them, because one time I turned into a dog, and they helped me. Thank you. Very good, Lewis. Short, but pointless. Mr. Fianella, please look at exhibits A through F on the table over here. Do you recognize this equipment? Yeah. That's the stuff the cops took from their truck. Do you know what this equipment is used for? I don't know. Uh, catching ghosts, maybe? I don't know. May I remind the court that the defendants are under a judicial restraining order that strictly forbids them from performing services as paranormal investigators or eliminators? So noted. Now, Mr. Fianella, can you identify the substance in this jar marked Exhibit F? Yeah. Yeah, that's the stuff, all right. Your Honor, I've been working underground for Continent for 27 years. I never saw anything like this in my life. Mm. Whatever's down there, they must have poured it there. No, we didn't! Wait, 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 wait. Shut up! So, so, so you were just trying to help out a, help out a friend? Who was frightened? Who was scared of what was happening to her no when you're intent. scared? What? There was no evil intent. There was intent. no evil intent and no malice. No, uh, uh, because you live here, when you live in a place and you love it like yeah, you do, you don't want nothing bad to happen. Never what? Happened. One sh it's an isolated because it, it, it'll never happen again. Shot. It's an isolated incident. It's a one-shot deal. Objection, Your Honor. What? He's leading the witness. Sustain. Give me a break. We're both lawyers. Mr. Tully, do you have any questions for this witness? Might have some bearing on this case. Do I? No, we've helped them out enough already. No, Your Honor. Your witness. Dr. Venkman, would you please tell the court why it is that you and your co-defendants took it upon yourselves to dig a very big hole in the middle of First Avenue? Well, there's so many holes in First Avenue, we really didn't think anyone would notice. <laughs> Keep that up, mister. I'll find you in contempt. I'm truly sorry, Your Honor. I'll ask you again, Dr. Venkman, why were you digging the hole? And please remember you're under oath. There are some things in this world that go way beyond human understanding. Things that cannot be explained. Things that most people don't want to know about. That is where we come in. So what you're saying is that the world of the supernatural is your exclusive province? Kitten, I think what I'm saying is that sometimes shit happens, someone has to deal with it, and who are you going to call? Yeah. Yeah. Shut up! Peter Mengman, Raymond Stans, Egon Spengler, stand up! Get up! You too, Mr. Tully. Find you guilty on all charges. Order you to pay fines in the amount of $25,000 each. We sent you to 18 months in the city correctional facility at Rikers Island. Edie, she's twitching. I'm not finished! All the more personal note, let me just go on record as saying that there's no place for fake charlatans. Uh, Your Honor? Shut up! Texters like you in decent society. Your Honor, this is important. You play on the gullibility of innocent people. Yes, sir. Be quiet. But my hands were signed by the unalterable fetters of the law. And I would invoke the tradition of our illustrious barber. Reach back to a pure turn of justice and have you burned and stayed. Oh, my God! 
up the Scalari brothers. Scalari brothers, friends of yours. I tried them for murder. Gave them the chair. You gotta do something. Why don't you just tell them you don't believe in ghosts? Oh. Don't talk to me. Talk to my attorney. That's me. My guys are still under a judicial restraint order. That blue thing I got from her. They could be exposing themselves. And you don't want us exposing ourselves. <laughs> years since we used this stuff. I hope it still works. It should. The power cells have a half-life of 5,000 years. There's no time for a bench test. Heat them up. Do Ray. He gone. Fast and baby slow. Wow. 